610. We're getting our day started. Checking our lights here. We've already looked under the hood. See the sides here, the load's doing just fine. I think may need to put a strap, a, well, yeah, I'm gonna take the edge here, put a couple of bungees on the edge just to pull it forward just a little bit more. I mean, the rest of the back is gonna hold, but. A few extra bungees ain't gonna kill nobody. Anybody need a load lock? Yeah, I do the same on this side, just to, you know, put a, bu put a bungee on this D-ring up here, just to pull it forward to keep it from unraveling as much. I don't need that flapping in the wind. In the front, about the same. I'll put a couple of a couple of bungees across there. But lights are good, oil's good, water's good. When I stop for fuel, I'm gonna get some more uh, washer fluid. Then we will get on our way. All right, we are ready to rock and roll. Jackson, Georgia. Leaving the pilot. Want to get to Lebanon, Indiana today. Just a little bit north of Indianapolis on I-65. First stop for the day, we are going to uh, where are we going here? Need to figure out where I'm going first. It's not an exit. We gotta go this way. Oh well. The last time I was here in Jackson. I was over at that Loves with Mr. Uh, I'm a straight shooter jerk off. You know, I, like that guy just honked me off no end. So that Loves is not getting my uh, any money from me ever. As long as that guy's employed there. All right, here we go. Excuse me. Alright, so we got a load of roll roofing. All tarped up as we saw from uh, yesterday. The first thing we gotta do is get up to and through, or, or not through, but around Atlanta. through Chattanooga. Saturday, it's going to be a lot, a, a, a little bit less traffic around.
around Atlanta. Not by much, but just a little bit. <laughs> We're going to do a quick load check there at, uh, at Emerson. Yeah, it's only about 90 miles away, but, you know, do a quick load check there. You know, stop, take a peek, roll. I could fuel a little bit earlier, but fuel here in Georgia is running about 15 cents more than the fuel in Tennessee. So I'll do my company a favor and fuel up in Tennessee instead of fueling up here in Georgia.
working hard there, nobody. I ain't seen one of the, a single one of these uh, paving machines actually moving. trucks enter sign a little bit closer to the road. shouldn't be parking that's always a real treat and a half no parking no parking no parking since these guys are already blocking the uh, road here we're just gonna stop here for a moment like I said we're just doing a quick old check of the load here so we're not going to be here that long to really be blocking anybody. Change on duty. Load check.
we are good to go. And like I said, we're running up here to uh, another 111 miles up to Montego.
course, nobody wants to do it, so there you go.
remember the road being that rough that, that those patches must be new. starts right here in Chattanooga goes up here we'll dip back into Georgia for about four miles then back into Tennessee and it's kind of goofy you know so to go north you have to go south Hill Billy Willie's Barbecue. Uh, maybe maybe it's because I'm a northerner. Whenever I think of hillbillies, I don't think of barbecue. I think of moonshine. They keep these low, keep this fence cleared off and in good repair. That'd be a nice view. That would look a lot better than it is does now. Alrighty. in the morning rolling along nice and smooth we have been averaging 7.5 miles to the gallon so far and despite the little bit of climbing we've been doing we haven't done a whole lot I mean but still getting slowed down for the uh, hills speed limit 65 55 for trucks Which kind of sucks.
50 miles an hour and throwing on my flashers so everybody knows that I'm slowing down and I'm crawling slowly up the hill. Okay, 1430 RPM, 47 miles an hour. The uh, speed is still being lost. Yes, I know primary fuel is low, blah, blah. All right, 45 miles an hour. Tenth gear, 1320 for the RPM. Shift down to the ninth. 1625 for the RPM. We're at 37 miles per hour. The fan's going to come on here in a moment to cool the engine because the engine is over 200 degrees for the water temp. Yeah, I gained about gained a couple of miles, gained a mile an hour back up to 44.
right, back down to 41 miles an hour. 1580 on the RPM, ninth gear. One and a half miles to go. This parking lot hasn't been purchased by Pilot. We are going to put some fuel in the old truck and let's get behind this other flatbed right here all right loaded so we're gonna as said top up our fuel top up our def then we're gonna do a, a 30 minute break here we got four hours and nine minutes on our on our clock, on our eight hour clock. We have seven hours and 26 minutes of drive time left for the day. 10 hours and nine minutes on our 14, 2604 on our 70. So we are good. We have 400 miles to our destination remaining, which says it'll take about six, and, six hours, 40, minutes but we're not going all that way well yeah we're going that way because that's to our uh that's to our uh our, our stop there in uh, lebanon tennessee or no, lebanon tennessee lebanon indiana all right guys got a little bit of death in his in his engine and he is hopefully gonna be pulling out 
but we got 566 miles to our final destination in Rockdale, Illinois, which says it'll take nine hours and 35 minutes, which is about a little over two hours more than we have that we can drive. So, and since we're not delivering until Monday anyway, not a problem. So let's go back to our, put our thing back where it needs to be. There we go. So let's see, 401 miles to Lebanon, Indiana. Summary view, no, we're not gonna need summary view. All right, let's see. So we are going to see where we're going to stop for our next load check. Let's stop here at Horse Cave. Can we stop at Horse Cave? I don't think we stop at Horse Cave. I think Horse Cave is a uh, is one of them stops that it's a car only thing. I think. Let's see. K for for Kentucky. Kentucky. Let's see here. I sixty five. No, they actually have a large. Where did they? No, they actually have a large parking spot. Okay, never mind. Exit 50. I'm, I guess I'm thinking of somewhere else. You know, right there near uh, the rest area of Munfordville, right after Park City. Well, that's a Lubs. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm not thinking of a pilot. Yeah, that's a Lubs there in Park City, in near. Uh, your horse cave. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, so we'll do that. Let's see here. Horse cave at his via at the start. And that will be. Let's see, oh, that's 182. No, that's a little too far. Yeah, that's that's the only problem here with the Ram McNally doing that. It gives me the uh, the miles, straight line miles. Doesn't give me the actual road miles, which doesn't make any dang sense. Okay, let's. That says 110. So, Franklin, Kentucky, I think is where we're going to be stopping here. Here at start, loaded. Hundred and thirty-one miles. Okay, that's a little better. service come on man pull out there there we go like I said we're gonna put in fuel we're gonna put in def we're gonna get a little bit of cup we're gonna you know park it for a 30 minute break there we go okay Change that to on duty. Fuel. There we go. Okay. So our mileage is 97,000. Fuel. 97,268.1 miles. Monteagle, Tennessee. At the pilot. Exit 135, I-24, there we go. Let's take a little way to watch the uh, fuel go on. Don't need that. Hey.
there, I guess. Alright, two cards you will always need. You need your fuel card, you need your rewards card. Got to hold this by hand. Didn't want to stay there. Okay. And select your slide our rewards card. And you put in your truck number. Select your tractor fuel. We don't need a reefer because we don't have a reefer. We're getting deaf. Nine, seven, two, six, eight. Enter. That's our mileage. We don't need a cash advance. Skip that. Continue. All right. Remove nozzle. That's the fuel. That's our death. Driver side tank. Do the passenger side tank. Shit. Oh, way to go. Come on, get in there. That's a problem with that design. That design just sucks. Okay, while that's filling, Gotta go around and check all of our tires. Got a tire thumper here. Switch hands here. By the feel and by the sound, you can tell whether they're inflated or not. You know, and, and how, and, you know, feels and sounds hard. Sounds hard. Make sure our mud flaps on. Make sure nothing, we're looking at our load. We're not making sure everything is staying on the truck. Nothing's breaking, nothing's falling off. We're looking at the condition of the tire on the treads here. We're looking down in the center here. We're looking in here. As we go around, we're checking all of our bungees. We're checking our, our straps. Make sure they're looking good. We're looking at the load, the shape of the load. Make sure it's the same shape that it was. Nothing's tilting, nothing's leaning, nothing's falling off, and nothing's missing. Let's check our front tires here. And that's how you fill a truck. Then once we're done filling the diesel, we'll pull the, uh, the, the def nozzle, throw it down into this tank up here. And then we'll, we'll fill the truck up. All right, talk to you in a bit.
All right, we put in 153.574 gallons, $475.93. Now we're gonna put our deck in. Somebody has lost a card. So we're gonna turn this into the office here. Somebody's lost their card. D and D trash. So we'll we'll be a nice guy and take that in. Because somebody's losing that card, I don't think they want that to uh to have been gone. So we're filling our depth. Our so we got a whole new uh, thing to ring up. Yet even though these nozzles are different sizes and they're intended not to be able to, to switch, this will definitely go into the into the diesel tank and the in the diesel nozzle much bigger. Won't fit in that hole right there. But you can't stick it right there and have the diesel flow into it, but you don't, you never want to do that. I mean, this stuff here is a waste of time, energy, money, does nothing to control pollutants. It causes more pollutants in the manufacture transportation of it than it does cure. All right. 10.8 gallons there, 31.5. And that's how you fuel it.